Hi, I'm Robert Reed. When I edit images, I like to stay as close to the raw file as I can, but sometimes an image needs some work that is best done in a different tool. And that's fine, Capture One is a, not a general purpose image tool, it is a raw processor with a lot of other features, but its core strength is always going to be processing raw images. The good news is Capture One does support round trip editing, so you can start with a file in Capture One, export it out to say Photoshop, and then bring it back into Capture One for the finishing touches. It also helps keep everything in your session organized into one place. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to do that round trip process with both Photoshop and Affinity Photo. So let's review what happens in Capture One when this round trip happens. The first thing you do, of course, is start with a RAW file. This one is an RAF, which is from a Fuji, and I've made some adjustments to it with a white balance and exposure. And so what happens then is Capture One takes the RAW file, applies the adjustments, and creates a new file. In this case, it was a PSD or a Photoshop file. I opened that file in Photoshop, made some changes, edited, removed some elements, saved it, and now that file is here in Capture One, and I can continue to make adjustments to this file. But notice that all of these adjustments have been zeroed out because this is a new file, you know, the combination of the raw file and the adjustments, and now you can go on and make further adjustments like a color grade or sharpness and so on. So let's go to Photoshop with this file. We wanna use the Edit With option on the menu from the image menu, and I'm gonna choose Photoshop. This dialog allows us to control how Capture One is going to create the file we're sending externally. The first option is either to choose TIFF or PSD. I'm using PSD because it does provide layers and that's useful to have, as we'll see in a minute. Everything else I'm pretty much leaving to defaults down here, and then I do set this to 16-bit because pretty much all raw files now have more than eight bits of data, so I would always set that to 16. On the adjustments, I wanna ignore the crop so that I can edit the full file in Photoshop, and when I get back to Capture One, I can choose different crops or just apply this one again if I wanna stick with that. And another reason to stick with uh, the PSD files, you do get this third option to crop to a path, so you can go the full file, but keep the path in the PSD file. The metadata, you can disable or enable certain metadata, and also the keywords, so you can maintain those in the new file. I usually just keep them, and the annotations is something you can add in Capture One, or you can write on the image as notes for a retoucher, perhaps. And if this is checked, and you're sending this as a PSD, then the annotations will be added as a layer. So finally, click Edit Variants, and this will create a new PSD file, open it up in Photoshop. Now we have the full image. So I'm just gonna draw a little smiley face here so we can see a scribble, and save it, and go back to Capture One, and select the PSD file, and there we go. So this file I wanna open up in Affinity, so again, go to uh, Edit With, and choose Affinity Photo. Again, Edit With is the option that will create a new file, and then edit that. So it's the same options for Affinity as it is for Photoshop. So I'm just gonna click Edit. So now we're in Affinity and I can draw something again here, create a brush. So by default, Affinity is, does not want to save a PSD file. It wants to save it as an Affinity file. And Capture One doesn't support Affinity files. It needs to be a TIFF or a PSD. However, there is an option in Affinity Preferences in the general section that enables save for PSD files. And there is a warning here that says this option is only recommended for exactly what we're trying to do. So this is intended to use in exactly this use case when you're exporting a file from something like Capture One or Lightroom and edit it, an external editor, and then want to get it back into that original software. So we close and I'm gonna command S to save, and it's exporting it. We can go back to Capture One. So in the Edit With menu, if you're not seeing all the applications that you've got in here, or you're seeing more than you want, you can customize this in Capture One Preferences, in, uh, in the Plugin Open With menu. And here you see a list of all the applications available, and you can check the ones that you want. Finally, I just wanna point out Capture One's main function is to take raw files and turn them into images. So the thing you should focus on Capture One at a minimum are the tools that are really fundamental to that process. So that's the white balance, exposure, and the HDR tools. I would get those set to where you want them in the raw file, especially the white balance. And if you're looking at a file that has 
some highlights or shadows that need to be recovered, definitely do that in Capture One before you go into an external tool. Because once you've done that, if you realize you need to go back to the raw data, you basically need to start that process over again and redo the edits. So one more thing, let's talk about open with. We looked at edit with, which creates a new file and opens that up in the external tool like Photoshop. But open with opens up the current file in Photoshop. So if you do that with a raw file, then it's just going to go straight and say you'll go into Photoshop, it's going to open up camera raw and you start with the raw file from scratch. Nothing that you've done in Capture One is going to be applied. You're going back straight you know, to the original raw file in Photoshop. Typically, you don't want to do that. You want to use what's already been done in Capture One and you're going to use Edit With to create a new Photoshop file. But if you already have a Photoshop file and maybe apply some changes to that in Capture One, like for example, I've added black and white here and you want to go back to Photoshop, then that's where you can use open with. So I'm gonna open with Photoshop. And we see this is the original Photoshop file that I last edited and removed some of the weeds with these layers. And we can add a, a new layer and I'm just going to grab a brush and deface my photo one more time and save that. And back in Capture One, there is the smiley face again. So edit with creates a new file with all of the changes made to it. Uh, it made a capture one applied to that file and open with just sends the current file directly to Photoshop. So edit with, I think it's a little bit confusing. I think edit with probably should have been edit copy with or edit clone with something that implies you're creating a new file as part of that operation. Thanks for watching another video of mine. I really appreciate that. Or this is your first time here. I'm building up this channel and if you can subscribe, that really helps and keep an eye out for more. There are some really cool things happening in Capture One these days and I've got a lot more videos to make. I'm Robert Reed. Thanks.